So this session essentially looked at uh, the relationship between poverty, in income inequality, and, uh, and the growth in Africa. So uh, three papers were presented. The key highlights of this session essentially is that uh, uh, growth in Africa has been picking up quite strongly in the last couple of years. But poverty, the evidence on poverty and, uh, poverty and income inequality reduction uh, is, is mixed. So in some countries, we have seen significant reduction in poverty uh, with, uh, associated with high growth. In some countries, we have not seen significant reduction in poverty, even though they are growing quite fast. So that poses obviously a challenge for, for Africa, which suggests that uh, probably the growth is not being channeled in ways that actually allow to, uh, the poor of the poorest to benefit more from growth. So which, in terms of policy implications, obviously, we want to look at how can we make the growth more pro-poor. I think that's a key issue that we need to look at. And, and this, again, is, uh, the work is ongoing, so it's not completed. The growth that we have seen, or the spread of growth we have seen of late, is much, much stronger than what we've seen before in Africa. So for over 40 years, Africa has not grown at this rapid pace. Uh, one important statistic that we might want to, to not take note of is that uh, uh, among the 10 fastest growing economies in the world, six of them are in Africa. So this is a, something that has never happened before. So that shows the kind of uh, uh, growth momentum that is carrying on in Africa. But obviously the concern, like I said earlier, is that um, the growth is not translating immediately into poverty reduction. Obviously, some of the things that we don't have, which, uh, for example, Latin America has, is very strong social protection policies. So that's, again, an area, an area of policy that Africa needs to work on to try to improve uh, the, the welfare of uh, the poorest.